Okay, we're here to talk about The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings trilogies that are going to be coming out on Steelbook, December 1st. This could not be the worst time for these box sets to come out. I'm considering them, but there are other people that have no ability to get them now because of what the world's been in the hellhole for a very long time now. They should have maybe waited a little less closer to Christmas or till next year sometime. I mean, this is a product they could wait a little longer to release. Now, it's probably going to be an online-only item, I would think. A lot of times when you look on Best Buy's website, you never get exactly um, whether it's just going to be at the store at home. Sometimes it says it's not available anywhere and it's available at the store. My best guess is this is going to be an online-only item because I can't imagine many people are going to snatch it out of the, st out of the store. So we'll see from there what happens. But these look like pretty good sets. Well, I have to tell one thing and advise people. There's probably a very, very strong chance. I'm probably more than 75% sure that all the special features are exactly the same as the Blu-ray sets over there that I have. And... Um, if they do have a few extra features, what are they going to put? They or Everything that was on the Blu-ray set was always worth the footage for each movie. I doubt they're going to add anything new. So, that's one thing I will not re-watch. I, re I watched all of that. It took an incredibly long amount of time. This time around, if I do get them, I will probably just watch the movies. Now, these movies have a lot to, to be helped by the 4K format. In the HDR, um, especially The Hobbit with its special effects and a lot of CGI, it may help it a lot to have some HDR and other things put into effect for it. Not so much with Lord of the Rings, maybe, although Lord of the Rings will look good too, but I think The Hobbit will definitely take some serious, um, how do I put it, take some serious good looking to it. That's how I put it. Now, are they expensive? Well, let, let's put it this way. They're about, what, 100, 110 bucks a piece, I think, these box sets go for. But they're, um, they're, they're very, very popular movies. Um, that's not expensive. You know, a lot of parents, or kids out there will say 100 bucks, 110 bucks is a lot of money. Not really. There is a special edition that's 150. Um, but if you compare it to other sets like Game of Thrones, if you buy that whole set, it was close. When it came out, it was above $200, I believe. So considering other Steelbook sets out there, really not. You know what's kind of sad about these Lord of the Rings is that one of them is like 110 They think they're both 110 Lord of, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. I just bought, saw it at my unboxing, um, Batman, the four film collection. That's... I should have bought it when it was 50 bucks, but I waited too long. That's an $80 purchase, and Lord of the Rings is only $30, $40 above that. That's pretty sad, but the Lord of the Rings movies are 10 times better than the Bat the Batman movies with Michael Keaton and um, Val Kilmer and um, George Clooney. So, I'm just saying, so... I think that um, this is the worst time, though, for a Blu-ray set to come out at this magnitude. It's all they got left. You gotta remember, everything's gonna be remakes, which kind of helps things out. Because when things do finally get better, we can start releasing regular movies, and we won't have regular movies and giant box sets coming out at the same time. That's what used to happen a lot before. Now we're seeing a lot of remakes come out. I think I agree with this a little more that this is the best time to do the remakes, but not near Christmas. Should have been done months ago. All right. Bye-bye.